Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Uh, today I'm in the same area where my uh, black forest is, but I saw on the map that there should be a little creek here. So I'm trying to find that today. I would like to make a video down by the little creek. That would be awesome. So I'm going in this area. You can see, looks very much like uh, my black forest, but it's a couple of miles from there. So yeah, we'll keep on. It's a little bit hard because it's up and down here and this little uh, small hills here in this forest. Yeah, and the weather, yeah, you can see, not something to talk about. Well, see if I will find the river soon. Yeah, and I'm following this uh, little trail. Uh, I think the deers are going down to the, to the water and drink there. We'll see. It should be about 100 meters from here in, uh, in that direction. So I hope so. Oh yeah. It's very steep here. And I'm not in a good shape. <laughs> now we're up on the hill here. Perhaps I can see it from here. And hopefully can look down so I can see where the water is. <laughs> oh no. Not yet. Oh. It looks promising here. A little bit less trees and a little path here. I'm going to follow that and uh, hopefully get down to the stream. Uh, I think it's there. Let's go down and see. Yeah, I finally found it. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, but as you can see, that's very uh, deep slow here down to the, to the little creek. So I think I'm going in that direction and see if I can find some land that are closer to the, to the little creek where I can put up my camp. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, and I can't find a place down to the river or the creek. So I've decided to make my camp here. There's a trail over there where uh, joggers are running, but I think it's uh, it's so uh, hidden here that they can't they can't uh, see me. I hope not. But uh, yeah, I'll set up camp here.
And as you can see, I set up my tarp in a different way. It's not perfect for this uh, kind of setup. Then it should be uh, a square tarp, perhaps two and a half, at times two and a half meter. Yeah, that would be awesome. So, but I'm going to find some, uh, some wood that I can use for my little fire here. And I have a little meal I would like to show you. I made something uh, back home that I can bring with me and uh, yeah. Yeah, first I'm going to make a, a couple of small flatbreads. First I have flour in, half um, wheat and a little bit of oil. And a little bit of salt. Look, this is my new, one of my new stuff I've got. Ceramic. I have my salt in. Then I just have to find my honey. Where are you, my little honey? There you are. That's nice. The honey is to sweeten it. Yeah. And then, instead of water, 
I'll just a minute. I'll try to add some meat. And look at this. This is also one I bought recently. A little bit meat in. See how that tastes. And then I just let it rest while I'm making my fire. And I made a new cutting board, uh, some uh, wood I found uh, along the roadside uh, up to Kimber Camp. And uh, I didn't know what kind of food, wood it was or is, but I think it's um, cherry. It has a nice color. And um, yeah, I'm going to use it first time today. Yeah, and this is a little sausage from Poland. I'm not sure what it is because I can't read the Polish uh, on the package, but it is something my wife got from a colleague that she used to work together with that is from Poland. So she gave me these and uh, I'm going to fry them uh, on the pan in just a moment. And uh, I usually use my oil, but look at this. I made this a little thing I can have butter in. Yeah. Uh, this one I haven't made myself. There's a little eye here. So I made this lid that can go up and down and it is in one piece. So plenty of work in this, but I love it. And then the little closure like this. So in a moment I'll use this for my sausages. And I think my bread is, yeah, it's going good. Yeah. I think they are almost done now. Just put them over here and then I'll take my my butter here for the first time. It's a nice sound, isn't it? Yeah. Even the butter is going in fire.
And this uh, fresh cheese is made out of something we call ymer here in Denmark. It is Danish sour milk. Uh, it has 6% protein and 3.5% fat. Uh, it's like yogurt, but uh, has a taste that is creamier uh, and a slightly buttery taste. Uh, and I made a little video how you can make that. You need two small bowls. One for the ymer and one that I have uh, covered with some cloth of linen. And you just put the ymer over there and then it will drain uh, some of the uh, moist, the fluid from the ymer. And uh, then you let it rest for about six to eight hours. And uh, I recommend you to do that not in the refrigerator but outside. And after eight hours it is uh, more firm and uh, you put it over again in a in a little bowl and then I take some uh, spring onions and uh, cut them out in uh, fine slices and uh, mix it together with the ymer. And then I add a little bit of uh, salt and pepper to make it taste better. And uh, then it's actually finished and uh, ready to be eaten. And uh, I must say, it surprised me that it was so tasty. And uh, this is the way uh, they made uh, cheese in the Viking Age. The, the name Ymer comes from the Norse mythology uh, and the creation of the world. Here Ymer or Ymir is the first Jette giant that gave birth to all the other Jette giants. According to the Icelandic saga, Ymer was killed by Odin, uh, Vile on V, and the world was created by his body. The meat was turned into ground, the blood to the seas, his bones to the mountains, the teeth to the sand and stones, the hair turned into the forest, the brain to the cloud, and the skull into the sky. This is how our world is created according to North mythology. Yeah, a nice little story. And I put a link to uh, uh, some information about uh, Ymer, uh, this product, and uh, Jeten, the giant from uh, our ancestors' mythology. And now I'm going to eat this, and I think I'll make a little sandwich, a special sandwich. Just wait and see. I think it's going to be delicious. I hope so. Some of these, this uh, cheese with uh, spring onion in, and salt, and a little bit of pepper. Yeah, and then we have these sausages from Poland. Not looking bad. Very nice. Yeah, a little Viking burger. Hmm. And along with my little uh, Viking sandwich, I will have some meat. This one, yeah, it's from Denmark and I asked the people who are selling this um, if they were interested in selling to uh, abroad, but they said no. So I won't put a link to that, unfortunately. You have to find something like this yourself if you like it. School everyone, welcome. Mm.
it's very damp today it's been raining a couple of days so everything is wet and I have a little bit of trouble keeping the fire alive but I think it's going and then short while there'll be coffee Yeah, and it's actually very delicious. Flatbread with um, meat in. I could recommend that. Mm. A couple of minutes. And I have my coffee. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah.
Yeah, folks, this was all for now. I hope you enjoyed my little video out here. Unfortunately, I couldn't get down to the river, the creek, so I had to stay up here on high ground. And I actually found out that there's a, a way, a path up there, people are going, so they can see me, but no one has stopped. I don't think they have noticed me. I like to be out here in the forest and not being seen. Um, yeah, in my black forest, there's a couple of mice that way. I never seen the people out there, any people out there. So uh, I won't come back to this place because, yeah. Well, now I tried it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thank you for watching Kimber Bushcraft. I really appreciate that. And to all your new subscribers, welcome to my channel. And then I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. Take care.